Hello everyone. I'm so glad you have joined me today. Today is our last day for sharing projects using our color combo of Blackberry Bliss, Lemon Lime Twist, and Starry Sky. Make sure you check out Vicki's um, blog. I've linked it in the information section below, or her video anyway, and see what she did with these colors. I bet it's adorable. Okay, for today's card, I was inspired by a card by Barbara Sammons. Now, she did not use Stampin' Up! supplies. I am. So, I love finding ideas from other people and using them to make my cards. So, if you're interested in seeing how to do this or even playing along, stick around and let's craft together. All right, for today's card, I am using the go-to greetings. I have pulled the large one out. I'm thinking that it needs to be large like that, so I'm going to use that one. I have a variety of things here. One of my layers for my card was three and three-fourths by five, and I took the basic borders dies, and the first thing I did was I cut this zigzag using that die at a starry sky, so you'll need a scrap of starry of, a scrap of starry sky. Then I used this die and I cut the top using it. It's again from the basic borders dies. I used this piece to cut out some other images. From the paper florist dies, I've cut out three of the, it's this, there's a piece that goes with it, but I thought this was a cute little flower without it. And I used a scrap of Blackberry Bliss for that. I use the timeless arrangement dies, and this is where I use that scrap. So I cut out two white ones using that die, and I cut out two of this die out of lemon lime twist. So lots of dies today, but it was such a cute card. I had to see about doing it. You will also need a piece of white that's four by five and a fourth, and your card base, which is white. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. So we're going to get started, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold and burnish our card base, and then this piece goes on there. And oh no, I have all my adhesive downstairs, so I've got to run and get it. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. I have been doing a lot of crafting lately because I'm traveling and I wanted, well, darn, that's not good. I was trying to get this stuff off. Got it. Let's see if it leaks. I don't know. So far, so good. The whole silver tip came out, but it seems to be doing okay. All right, so I'm gonna add this to my card base. And I am centering it. It's a challenge since it's white on white. All right. This piece is where we're gonna add all of our die cut pieces. Now, this is my first piece, and I'm gonna add some glue here. And I chose the, um, what do you call it, the Timeless Arrangement dies because they were easy, they're going to be easy to add. Now, this piece has to be cut off because it cannot stick off the edges. So I'm just going to go in there with my scissors and snip it off. All right. And... I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some glue to the bottom here. All right. And I'm going to kind of get that one down 
underneath of there so it's in the front some. All right, got that one. Now, I'm going to do this one on this side. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off so I don't have to worry about it catching on anything on the other side. Haven't decided if I'm using it. Before I do that, I'm going to take and I'm going to add this piece right about there. Yeah, I think I am. Then I'm going to add some glue to the top and I'm going to glue, well, okay, I'm going to glue this way. like so I gotta get it in there right and I'll cut that off I'm gonna use my yucky scissors because I don't want that glue on my good scissors there all right I'll get that later now I'm gonna add my little flowers and I'm kind of judging all right that's gonna be a problem, but I might be able to twist it slightly and use my glue to put it down and it'll stay. All right, first flower I'm gonna add is this one, and I'm gonna add it in this space right here. All right, like so. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna add it I'm gonna go down through here and add it in there. All right, and then I need this one, and I think I'm gonna add this one like here. So I'm kind of intertwining them, which you can do, you just have to take your time. All right. There's that, I like that, but I need something here. Let's see, I think I'm going to add this one there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the tip and I'm going to stick it down and I'm kind of, I'm kind of sticking it there we go. All right. Oh, I like that. I'm going to now, I'm going to close this up and I'm going to add this to my card base with some um, foam tape. And because it's a big panel, that is why I'm using my foam tape. I wasn't certain which ink I was going to use, so I have all of them out. All right. And the last time I used this, it was a challenge to get the backing off. So I'm going to put this down, get it off, and I'll just edit that part out. Um, it's just easier to use this then and it's very sticky than dimensionals because you would use a lot and I really want it supported. All right, I'm gonna pull this up and there. All right. Let me get this out of the way. And I have this now. Let's see how easy it is to get the backing off. Um, Somebody said if you can't get the backing off, it's because it was it wasn't stored properly, so it was either hot or cold. So I'm gonna pause the video, get the backs off, and then I'll be back. Okay, I got my backs off, and I found it was easier if I took my take um, pokey tool stuck it in here and just kind of worked my way to the edge and it would pop that edge off. Oh, you know what? I can't put this down yet. 
I'm just gonna set this here because this has to go on here, right about there. And I've gotta make sure it's centered. So let me take some glue and add it straight across. As long as I don't push down, I think I'm okay. We'll find out, won't we? All right, now. All right, that's about even. Oh, you know what else I didn't do? I didn't stamp my sentiment. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna push, put that over so I can push down on it and get it to stick. All right, and let me get my sentiment ready because I have to test it to see if I have it on straight. Well, I can't use that. I was gonna stamp with that and I'm thinking I'm gonna stamp it in Blackberry Bliss. So let me get my, let me get a scrap paper here. I'll just use the back of my thing here and let's see if it's straight. Oh no. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Got it. This is a tricky one. I struggle with this. Um, getting it on straight. All right. And I've got ink down there. Darn it. All right. Straight down. Oh, all right. I'll show you how to fix that. You need your Blackberry Bliss marker. All right. And you take your marker and you fill in and no one will know that it wasn't stamped correctly. And I have Blackberry Bliss on me because I'm getting it all over. Oh. I do not know how that's happening. Oh, I wonder if it was on here and I flipped it over. All right, let me cut off my zigzags here. Get rid of those. I think it's time to clean my mat. All right, but you know what? It's okay because what I can take and do is I can add some gems on there. Now, this one's going to be a problem. So what I'm gonna take and do is I'm going to push this over. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue right there and I'm just gonna push it over so that it stays there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then that way I don't have to worry about it getting caught as it goes inside the envelope. All right. Despite the mess ups, there's today's idea. And I went looking in my stash and I found in my inked and tiled a flower stem that looks similar to that. So that's what I used. I hope I've inspired you to play around with your die cuts and have some fun with them. I appreciate your watching. I love sharing my ideas with you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Have a great day. Bye.